Hey, what's up all, it's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. Now, before we take on today's session, uh, I've done uh, quite a lot of training once again in between recording sessions in preparation for our next gym battle, and there's been uh, some like um, significant level ups as well as a temporary change to my team, as I will now show you. So Charizard level 48. I think I said I was going to try and get Charizard up, level, uh, get Charizard up to level 50, but I decided I think 48 should be enough. Uh, as my other Pokemon, they've leveled up quite nicely. Lapras, um, you may remember I got uh, while traveling through Silphco. Uh, I believe started at level 25, so already at level 41, which is nice. And Lapras will definitely help me in the uh, seventh gym. Gyarados is now level 45. I don't think you learn any new moves, but uh, you're now level 45, so hopefully your bite attack should be a little bit better. And you've also noticed I have a Persian. Yeah, uh, there's a reason for this. Well, it's actually uh, uh, originally I had an, a Meowth in uh, the Pokemon storage. And the reason why I decided to trade up Meowth and then eventually Persian is because this is the only other Pokemon that I know of that I've caught that also knows Bite. So I figured having another Pokemon that knows a Dark type move will definitely help me against Sabrina. In fact, you also now know Faint Attack, so. We've got double options, so not really going to be like, I'd say the best option, but it's it's just like an additional option I have. So I'm probably going to use like Persian for like the first, uh, like probably for uh, against a lot of these trainers and maybe for like against the first Pokemon that Sabrina has. So we're going to give Persian a go, but that's not the only other thing I've gotten. I've also decided to pay another visit to the Celadon Game Corner, just to have a look at the TMs there. And there's one TM in particular that they had there that uh, definitely got my attention. So I spent uh, a lot of my money on buying a whole, uh, getting a whole load of coins in order for me to redeem, if I can find it, Shadow Ball. Oh yes, a power of 80, 100% accuracy. This could also be a good, like, um, option to have in terms of attacks. So I'm going to immediately use it. I can actually teach it to Persian, but I think it makes the most sense to teach it to Kadabra. So, Kadabra, I am going to teach you Shadow Ball. Instead of, hmm, I don't know. I mean, Future Sight could be decent enough, but I've already got Psychic. I mean, Psybeam's not. Uh, as obviously the weakest attack that I got here, but uh, I think I'm just gonna keep Psybeam for now, just as a weak attack in case I want to try and catch some Pokemon. Uh, if I don't have any other option. Although speaking of Pokemon, uh, I've also been training up Pikachu, but I will uh, show what's happened uh, later on. But you know what? We're gonna have you forget Future Sight because I have not, I have not used Future Sight at all, so I think we'll have more use with Shadow Ball. There we go. Nice stuff. Whoops, don't want to teach you that. And I think that's all there is, so you know what? Let's go straight into the gym. Yo, champ in the making. Sabrina's Pokemon use Psychic Power instead of Force. Fighting Pokemon are especially weak against Psychic Pokemon. They'll get destroyed before they can even aim a punch. And let me guess, Gary? Yep, sure enough. And the good old teleporters. Oh boy. Well, you know what? We're just going to try and battle as many as possible. Sabrina is young, but she's also our highly skilled leader. You won't reach her easily. That's probably true, because I cannot remember the correct way to go with these teleporters, but they'll all get to the same place eventually. Okay, so Cameron brings out the Slowpoke. Okay, only level 33, that's not too bad. Now, the big question is, what's your bite attack like, Persian? Okay, not bad. Plus, bite has the added benefit of occasionally making the opponent flinch, so... That's not too bad. You also know Faint Attack, which I believe is actually the same power as, um... Uh, same power as uh, Bite. But I also believe that Fate Attack also lands the hit 
like guaranteed. Like even if he gets like hit by a, if he even if you you lose your accuracy, I think faith attack still gets the target regardless. But I'll probably use bite simply because of the fact that. Ooh, slow, bro. Simply because of the fact that there's that slight chance of making the opponent flinch. Actually, thinking about it, Pikachu would have been a good choice for uh, some of these Pokemon. I forgot about slow, bro. Okay, Confusion didn't do too much against Persian, which is good. There's the flinch, so that's exactly what I want to see. Nice. Down and out. Indeed you were. Alright, not bad, Persian. There used to be two Pokemon gyms in Saffron. The fighting dojo next door lost its gym status, though. We simply creamed them when we decided to have just one gym. Well, I mean, that kind of makes sense, you know. As I said, Psychic-type are significantly stronger against the fighting type. Also not a good gym if you want to use Poison-type Pokemon, either. Which makes the ghost type Pokemon of this game completely useless against this lot. Speaking of ghost type Pokemon. Alright, not too bad. Good job there, Persian. Alright. And of course, I've still got the experience point, uh, experience share um, with Dragonair right now. Dragonair's still holding the experience share. Of course, no surprise, Haunter. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't think that I don't think any of my Pokemon have learned any new moves, with the exception of Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu has leveled up enough uh, for it to actually now know Thunder. So now that Pikachu knows Thunder, I am going to evolve it. But I will do that once I get Pikachu back from storage uh, after this battle. Because I won't be keeping Persian around. I'm literally just going to be using Persian for this uh, gym battle. And of course, uh, the game is heavily uh, in favour of the CPU right now. Because I'm still getting hit. And I'm getting hit once again. Awesome. Yeah, you can definitely tell there's a... Okay. Yeah, this is not going to work if you just keep using uh, Confuse Ray. There we go. Now we can fight the attack. So yeah. Heavily in the CPU's favour there, with the fact that Persian kept hitting itself, but... Then again, Haunter was stupid enough to just continue to use, uh... Um... Uh, confused Ray, while I was still confused. Anyway, so that goes back to here, but I kind of want to just temporarily leave the gym. And just heal up our Pokemon, and I don't know, I'm actually kind of tempted, because I kind of forgot about Slowbro and Slowpoke. Yeah, I kind of forgot about them, so... Yeah, you know what, I'll tell you what. Let's heal up a Pokemon. I'm going to bring Pikachu back, but I'm going to immediately evolve it into a Raichu. Okay, there we go. Question is, who am I going to leave behind? I'm kind of... Uh, I was going to say I'm kind of tempted just to leave Lapras behind, because I'm probably not going to use anyone else. But then again... Lapras does no Perish song, so if I'm in a bit of a sticky situation against Sabrina, I could always just use Perish song. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to be using Dragonair too much, even though you got the experience share. So I'm actually going to temporarily leave you behind. I'm going to bring Pikachu back. Also, I also want to just take that item from you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take the experience share for now. And I'm just going to give it to... Who am I going to give it to? Actually, no, I'm going to give it to Pikachu. Why not? Pikachu, you can hold on to the experience share for a little bit longer. But I'm going to immediately evolve you into a Raichu now that you know Thunder. And as far as I can tell, I think the only other move Pikachu can learn in this game through, like, levelling up is, I think, something like Light Screen or something, which I'm honestly not too bothered about. And besides, I think you can get the TM for that from a shop anyway, so 
You know what? It's time to use the Thunderstone on Pikachu. Because if we are potentially dealing with the likes of Slowpoke and Slowbro, I think having Pikachu, or rather Raichu, is going to help us a little bit better. Yeah, I completely forgot about uh, <laughs> Slowpoke and Slowbro. There we go. Sorted. Right, back to the gym. Oh, and apologies if I keep uh, pausing every now and then. I'm just having a just having a, a nice little uh, drink of my coffee here. I need uh, something to wake me up a little bit. <laughs> oh. All right, back at the gym. Right, let's just go down the same path that we went through last time, which I can't even remember where it is. So you know, what? no, no, let's not go the same way. Let's go this way. Okay, so you're someone new. You understand, don't you? That power alone isn't enough to win in the world of Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. Well, you skill, knowledge and all that. Ooh, Mr. Mime. Alright. I haven't seen Mr. Mime too often uh, in our uh, adventures. I'm going to use Uncle. I mean, that's fine. That's fine by me. Yeah, we'll just carry on using Bite if you want to go through that pain, Mr. Mime. That's totally fine by me. Oh, yeah, and you get flinched as well. So, um, yeah, thanks for the encore, mate. <laughs> it's, it's changed to Kadabra. That's fine. We'll stick with Persian for the time being. Okay, that's not too bad. Reflect. Oh, that raises the fence. Okay, that's fine. But still not enough to stop uh, another bite attack, so that's good. In fact, this might level up Persian. Nice. Ah. A cup of coffee's cooled down just enough for me to not burn my mouth. <laughs> okay, there we go. That was nice and simple. Uh, let's go this way. Well, there's Sabrina. Well, I kind of want to try and battle as many of these trainers as possible. Okay, just another Kadabra, but only a level 31, although we know that a level 33, at level 33, Bite only took it to a little less than half, so... This probably still won't knock it out. Ooh, but it's so close, though. Haha, <laughs> but you get flinched. Ah, uh, you know, let's try Fate Attack. Well, it might be worth trying out... Actually, you know what? I was going to say trying out uh, Kadabra's uh, Shadow Ball. But no, hang on. We've got a Slowpoke. All right. It's time for you to uh, step into the spotlight, Raichu, and just see how you get on against a Slowpoke. Of course, you know Thunder, but I'm not going to be using that all the time. I'm probably going to still rely mostly on Thunderbolts. There we go. Lovely stuff. Already a level up for Raichu, so that's good stuff. And then switch to Mr. Mime. I think this is a good opportunity to try out Kadabra's new move. Let's see whether I've made the right call to teach you Shadow Ball. Ooh, so close. Oh dear. Um, yeah, we'll take the encore. I mean, if you want me to carry on using Shadow Ball on you, Mr. Mime, I'm more than happy to do that. <laughs> also, I didn't realise how many of my Pokemon are actually so close to levelling up. Nice. Another Kadabra. We'll stick with my Kadabra for now. Oh, nice. Instant knockout of the other Kadabra, so that's good to know. Oh, and that was it. Nice. I never foresaw this. Yeah, you need to do a little bit better with your um, psychic powers there. 
Psychic Pokemon fear only ghosts and bugs. And I guess also the Dark types, but of course this is... Although we're in Generation 3, this is obviously based on the game or games that uh, Dark type Pokemon did not exist. Also, I cannot remember which way I came from. Okay, so we're back here. Uh, let's go this way. Well, I think I already battled you. Yes, I did. Okay, this looks like a new room. Nice. I do want to see Sabrina. I just hope that uh, all my training is going to be enough to uh, take on her psychic type Pokemon. I just hope it's not going to be as rough as my battle against Sabrina uh, from my Pokemon Soul Silver Let's Play. That was rough. That was a rough battle from what I remember. I got so lucky in that battle. <laughs> Oh my god, how did you survive that? I mean, that's fine, you can uh, disable bites, that's absolutely fine, because I could just use... Actually, you know what, let's use Payday. Why not? We'll get some extra coins. <laughs> wow, 205? Nice, alright, cool. Quite the, quite the decent Payday there, Persian. Oh, is that what you used? Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I battled you. Now we just need to find the right uh, teleporter. Okay, Amanda, let's see what you have. Just more ghastly, because of course you're a channeler. Also, I need to rearrange your moves a little bit, uh, Persian. I don't want to accept the use some other attacks, although, yeah, that's a thought. You n also, you actually will know Screech, which could potentially help with some of these moves, but I'm just going to move that around. There we go. So let's use Bite again. Ooh, so close. And of course, Confuse Ray, because that's pretty much all Ghost-type Pokemon do. I mean, the likes of Ghastly and Halter, they could have been useful against this gym. Is it, if it wasn't for the stupid fact that they're also part poison type. Oh, not again. Come on, don't start doing this to me again, game. But once again, you're also constantly using Confuse Ray, which is not going to help. Oh my god, okay. I think I, I think I can tell what kind of mood this game is in today. You're obviously in the mood to uh, try and give the CPU as much of an advantage as possible, but I'm not going to let that happen. Out. And I think that's all the trainers battled against, so now we just need to find Sabrina. Uh, which one did I uh, teleport from? I can't remember. Okay, Sabrina, I know you're close. I will find the right one eventually. But annoyingly, this is probably going to take a while. Unless it ends up being this one. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, no, I haven't battled everyone. Okay, my mistake. I thought I missed someone. All right, fair enough. That's fine by me. We have one more person to battle against. Ooh, one Pokemon, but this is going to be a high level one. Yeah, level 38. Okay. All right, let's try this out. Let's use Screech. Of course, instantly use Confuse Ray. Oh, come on! Really? Although, you, once again, you constantly, you're constantly using Confuse Ray when I'm already confused. Okay, there we go, finally. Ooh, okay, yeah, I think that actually, uh... That definitely lowered your defense quite a bit, actually. So only using two bites rather than three. Hmm, that actually might not be a bad idea. Just use Screech and then switch to another Pokemon that also knows bite. Interesting. Anyway, so 
I think now that's finally all the uh, trainers battle against, but now we need to find the correct way to Sabrina. Although, is it worth healing my Pokemon? Uh, not really. If I, I just, I'll just use a potion on... Uh, on um, Persian. Okay, so we're back here. This could take a while, because I honestly can't remember which is the correct teleporter, so this might take a while for me to find Sabrina. Okay, we found the right one, so which one was it? I think it was in the top left corner. Yep, this guy. The one who used uh, telepathy on me. So, the bottom left, that's the one. Okay, we finally found you, Sabrina. I just hope all my training has paid off. So, let me just very quickly heal up uh, Persian. So I'm just going to use Persian to start off with in this battle. And then I'm probably going to switch to some of my... Uh... Oh, wow. Ex <laughs> like exactly 50 hit points uh, was restored. Nice. To full health. So, we're gonna use, I'm going to use Persian to start off with, but then I'm probably going to switch to Kadabra. Or Garrett, uh, not Garrett, or Charizard, you know, just as a general, like, just as, like, a new, uh, uh, like, a neutral option to have. So, Sabrina, let's do this. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic powers since I was a child. It started when a spoon I carelessly tossed bent. I dislike battling, but if you wish... I will show you my powers. All right then, let's do this. So starting with Kadabra, that's fine. But no doubt you'll definitely have like an Alakazam. Okay, Bite on its own is doing a decent amount there. That raises your special attack and special defense. That's fine. That should not affect us. And yet it, it didn't. Oh, actually, over on the plus side, that does them mean that Sabrina's going to be forced to use a potion early. That's absolutely fine. Let's, let's have her use her potions, like, on the very first Pokemon. So we can then completely focus on just completely going all out against her. Uh, a stronger Pokemon later. Actually, I don't think that's done much at all. But then again, I remembering that uh, you know, in the early games, the way like attack and special attack like worked is slightly different. Okay, I was half expecting her to use another potion. Maybe she's going to save it for another Pokemon, which is absolutely fine. Okay, so maybe having Screech was not the best idea. But you know what? That's fine. I'm going to. Stick with Persian for now. We're going to have Persian do as much as possible. And then I'll switch to some other Pokemon. Okay, you're just going to use Calm Minds. That's fine. It's fine by me. I'll just carry on using Bite. Although, yeah, that's hardly doing anything now. Oof. Okay, one more hit and Persian will be gone. Um, you know what? Screw it. Just use payday. We we'll might as well get some extra money. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah. Forget bite. Payday was obviously uh, where it was at. Oh, Venomoth. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm actually surprised by Venomoth. Oh, in that case, then Charizard. Nice job, Persian. Okay. I wasn't expecting payday to do that much damage, but uh, I. Guess that makes sense. Anyway, uh, just use flamethrower. Really, Venomoth? Because you're bug and poison type, I think. Bit of an odd choice, but whatever. Ah, okay. I had a feeling you switched to Alakazam. Hmm. You know what? Let's see who's better: your Alakazam or my Kadabra. I guess it depends what kind of moves your Alakazam knows. And whether my Shadow Ball... Like, ooh, level 43. Whether my Shadow Ball is going to be enough. Well, if you also know Shadow Ball, then I'm... Whoa! Wowzers! Okay, nicely done. Woof! 
Okay. Loving the crit there. Damn, Kadabra. Huh. And the hilarious thing is I didn't even end up I didn't even use Gyarados at the end after all. And we get ourselves the marsh badge. Oh I look all that money because I used Charizard for one moment of this battle. And I picked up 410 because of payday. Nice. And we get the TMO4, which is... Uh, you don't say. Okay, well, that's fine. We can have a quick look. Oh, my controller just disconnected again. Come on, come back. There we go. Right, so what is the TM? TM04, I think it was. That was Calm Mind. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay, well, that's cool. So, we got our sixth gym badge. The gym battle, I was definitely potentially worried about the most, and we managed to get through it pretty unscathed, actually. In fact, the only Pokemon that got knocked out was Persian. Oops, I got the wrong way. Uh, yeah, Persian was the only one that got knocked out then. So, that actually wasn't too bad in the end. <laughs> yeah, I think we all would. But, you know, I'm not too worried about that anymore because we finally got our six gym badge. And now we've got to decide what to do next. Well, first of all, I'm going to quick into the Pokemon because I want to buy some more Ultra Balls. Except you don't have any for sale here, so I'm probably going to have to go to Fuchsia. Uh, go to Fuchsia City because I'm pretty sure they sell Ultra Balls. Because I definitely want to stock up on a few because there's a few options now that I want to go to. Now that we've got our sixth gym badge, we can now start our travels towards Cinnabar Island to get our seventh gym badge. But uh, we could either go from Pallet Town, but we're going to go the more interesting way and go along the sea and then through Seafoam Islands. But there's one other place I want to go to first. Uh, and that is the Power Plant. So first of all, I need to... I'm going to say goodbye to Persian. Thank you very much for your help. That was definitely appreciated. But we definitely don't need Persian anymore. Uh, but now, I definitely want to bring Dragonair back, but for the time being, I'm just going to bring uh, Pidgeotto. Just so I can quickly fly to, um, to Fuchsia and just get some more Ultra Balls. And then we'll start checking out uh, the Power Plant. So, let's just fly to Fuchsia. And find the Pokemart, which I just remembered is all the way around the back here of this, uh, up, up the entrance to uh, the Safari Zone. There it is. Okay, let's hope I'm right. So it would make the most sense, and indeed you do. Uh, let's buy... You know what? Screw it. Let's just buy... I don't know. I've got a lot of money. Let's just buy 41 of them. <laughs> And I think that will do for the time being. All right. So now that we've got enough Ultra Balls, let's now fly to Rock Tunnel. And start investigating the power plant. Uh, but I'm not going to bring Pidgeotto with me right now. Instead, I'm just going to bring another Pokemon while we're going through the power plant. I honestly can't remember if there's actually any, uh, any uh, if there are any Pokemon trainers at the power plant. I don't think there are. No, 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 I'm pretty sure no, there are. Aren't I can't remember. Hmm. Anyway, uh, there's no other Pokemon I want to train up right now, so we're just going to leave it at that. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, that's right, you were the one that gave me the Everstone. <laughs> He's still just chilling at this uh, Pokeball Center. Fair enough, buddy. Right, okay, so now that we've got that all sorted, let's, well, let's switch to 
uh, Raichu. Although, thinking about it, perhaps I should have gotten some more, like, Paralysis Heals. In fact, I don't think I have any. Uh, huh. I mean, I got a full heal. Ah, we should be alright. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? 